Pokemon like everybody's home. Right now, though, we're going to get Pura against Etho. I know Pura was on stream last week, so we had the opportunity to uh, cast his Inkling, but he's going to be facing up against Etho's Roy. Pretty good options. I mean, in terms of like, player characters and players who have, uh, like uh, Etho and Pura, Pura honestly, it's my first time seeing them. Good thing to note, though, is that Roy and Inkling have great speed in the air, great speed on the ground, like great movement. Inkling has a really good dash back, right? So Roy's going to be able to, like, preferably move in and out of the zones much faster, but Roy also has the speed and the wall damage. Oh, certainly. It, and this one may just come down to a classic case of range versus frame data. <laughs> yeah, Inkling's move is ridiculous and fast. It can be really ridiculous. Roy's not too bad. Honestly, they're, they're well known for being fast, but, like, it's up to, it's up to uh, Ethan to figure out how he's going to get this. He is. I don't know if I agree with the decision from Pyrrha to just hang back when he already oh. was that low on ink, but oh, and no guy. nevertheless gets the up smash and finally has the opportunity to recharge. Okay, nice. Using that down to try to poke him through. Black Bomb will cover him half an ink, but once again, he's showing that he's actually willing to go off stage and gets the trump into back air, so Etho finally has something on the board. Yeah, he doesn't want to go ahead and make sure you get snowballed by him, because once you get snowballed, you do take that damage. Right, full jab gets you a lot of ink. Damage in general, it can be really difficult to catch the ink. The one thing, the one thing, I'm sorry, the one thing that Roy has too is his ability to just, honestly, like I said, the power within the sword is going to be one of the troubles that Inkling has, because Inkling does have the full history. No, you're absolutely correct. Inkling is a, dam is a character that can take you from bad to worse within an instant, just with the ability to get that extra percent with the ink mechanic, as well as just have some quick and really nice low percent combos too. Gets the down air though off stage. Ethos going to be sent careening into that bottom blast zone. It You're looked like he was trying to go for the next air dodge to grab a ledge before she didn't time it. That's what I thought as well. I thought I saw the startup of that, but Etho just got snuffed out. Oh, uh, <laughs> Speaking of which, that F smash is going to do the trick for him, and all of a sudden we are back to even. Yeah. I don't see... So I do see a, a lot of solid attempts at technicians coming up with the player too, with Gato. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that he's coming back with Mayor going to carry him all the way across the stage, and I like the fact he read that he was trying to panic and get out of it, and goes for an upper, but he missed the opportunity just slightly. Landed directly into the F-Smash, so Etho's going to be down about 40%, but can make this back, although Etho's techs have been really nice thus far. Or uh, Pira's techs, rather. Before it's out, nice, moving in, pushing it back. Nearly gets hit by the slaughter spot of the roller. Well, he got hit in the air. Awesome. Be patient. Air dodged in. That could have been risky. This could be a forward tilt where he's trying away. Keeps him on this pressure here. He makes sure he's all around him. Look at him. He's just fishing for the jab combos either in the back air or up air. Oh, just no, there, but the landing! Yeah. He was so close. I mean, like you said, right? He was fishing for all of the jab combos. The problem is that when he finally decided to land and capitalize on Inkling when he's going to be on the ground and just mistimed it. Yeah, as you said, he just got so caught up in his offensive work, wasn't mm -hmm. watching what Pyrrha was doing at all. And just as his own ink was running out, you could see right after he buried the ink tank was on empty, but yeah. an inkless F smash, enough to do it. The smash attacks won't be that affected by inkling. I'm sorry, by ink as much as possible. Right. It's just side B, jab, um, slap bomb. Mm -hmm. Those are the only moves that are like generally affected. I mean, slap bomb. You want to make sure you have ink because of course you want to use edge cards. Right. Side B, right? You want to use it to be able to come out on the stage. Excuse me, we have a ditto now. Okay. Possible here. It could be a little bit of a case of a uh, swordsman pride. Let's see who's the better of, of the character, right? But it's also probably the fact that you know, yeah, I probably mean this character. Certainly, if you want, if you saw something that was particularly exploitable within the matchup, or if you just want practice with the character, it might not just be a bad way to practice it against someone else who also mains the character, too. Yeah. And in the case of a lot of dittos, some players, it's just not down to like, okay, uh, he's the better of the character. It's just some players don't know how to do the ditto. Or not only that, or I'm familiar with the ditto. Right, it, a lot of dittos in this game are just very matchup knowledge dependent. Mm -hmm. Although that dash attack is going to send Etho to that right blast zone. Pura got that first dot fairly early. I'll, I know a lot of people have just already said before Bracket began that they just want to use this as an opportunity to test out things for main stage. Yeah. So I might anticipate a few more character switches than normal across the board. Yeah, it's just for a lot of players too as well. Mm -hmm. Good pressure there coming out with Jab, making sure if uh, Pura was going to go anywhere, it's going to be with a little... 
Gets his close here. I like down air attempt, but he's missed the back air. I would have loved to have seen him go down for a counter, because you can counter Roy's uh, up B as well. Right. It's something that we do see from Mars and Lucina's as well when they go and fight each other. Mm -hmm. Not the landing up air, though. Evo is, I like how he's staying grounded here. A lot of people just go for a bunch of short hop aerials pretty randomly. Etho's been remaining calm, especially directly after losing his first dog. Uh, a little bit of a get up in that forward air, not going to be interesting. Use directional air dodge. He just mistimed the up B. If he would have executed just a little tad earlier, he would have survived that. But unfortunately, he just tried to go for the little recovery. Yeah, had the timing down, had it read in his mind. He didn't bury the timing from the first time he tried to recover, and just that sameness is going to cost him. Double edge dance will put him back off stage. Had that force snap charge halfway, but wasn't able to get him back. <laughs> swings the sword with the forward smash. I like the attempt. Forward sword would have been a great option. Or look, look, look to the ground as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's better to back off and give your opponent a uh, sense of security. You get an F tilt almost killing from center stage. Oh. That one is going to do it though. Catch, catch them in the middle of the direction here, dodge. Yeah, here's even game. Uh, not really thought. It's kind of slow the roll here. I mean, definitely understand the fact that he has to catch up against the but. Like, because him trying to be a little bit too aggressive, Pure's going to slowly take him to some shock before he gets a good parry. Jab into double edge oh, dance. I'm talking about slow your roll, right? Stay back on the stage, wait for the opportunity for the edge guard to present itself, rather than just flat out go for it because it's so clear. And if uh, you're Etho, you just have to do your best not to get intimidated. Know that you already got edge guarded once, and instead of being afraid to go off stage, just know that you have to vary your timings. Don't be afraid to just make the same mistake twice. Oh. Usually, that's. I like the read there. He unfortunately was a little bit too over. That's a very poor will take it. Um, the read there was that a lot of opponents usually tend to fear Roy from getting side beat the whole game, and then they go and go and tech roll back. Right. So that's what Ito was looking at, but unfortunately, he like kind of overguessed it at that point. And if I'm not mistaken, that was not his first time tech rolling back, so he sort of got the download and he got a bit of data within mm. the first two stocks. He was able to execute it finally with the knowledge he had already gathered. Looks like it's going to be back to the angling I'm for hearing, Pira. Sorry, I'm hearing Rido, so I'm assuming Rido is probably here. Is he? I'm assuming. I know he's. I don't. I hear the name a lot. I have not looked at the brackets. I apologize for you that. Forgive me for my uh, no having knowledge of looking at the bracket here. But hopefully you guys can keep up with it a little bit later. I'm sure it's in the stream title if he is here. Yeah. Let me ask Javi. Javi, is Rido here? Rido? There. Do you know if Rido is here? No. No, okay. No. Does it does it. Double edge dance will put Pure up to 75%. Although, again, get that ledge trumping with the back air, but... That time, just fraction oh. off of killing. See, that was kind of a representation of like how we saw last game before the last dock, right? Where like definitely we saw Etho try to read that goal get up option and check he's in there with a forward smash, and then right there we definitely saw how Pure was able to check that. Mm -hmm. But Pure this time is just gonna try for the trump again, or Etho is. But I like how Pure just uses up special oh. and once again another berry into F smash. Etho just has to be careful, a bit less overzealous and perhaps more cautious with shielding. The thing about Roy, too, is he has strong sword, obviously within the base, but the problem is he's lacking in range. So he doesn't need that, like, threshold of having enough range to actually stop taking the punch a little bit longer. That's right. why he keeps getting grounded. I don't believe any of his grounded options does outspace the roller, no, with the yeah. possible exception of S-Match, but that's risky. Yeah. That's why I like to call Fire Emblem Limit Cross Slash, but no limit. Doesn't matter, just call on it any time, as Etho did right there, and the double edge dance will send him right towards that right upper corner. Attack. Another full jab here, that's the snowball on how it starts, right? You start taking jabs, you get the linkage, your opponent takes the ledge, you're taking more percent the more ink you have, and then you look at you and you're sitting at what? Pretty much kill person here at the ledge. Although look at this change in mentality from Pura. Anytime he has Etho more than half ink, he's been a lot more aggressive thus far going in with a few bears and hmm. that time it almost cost him. Let's jump back here. No, he opts to come back on the stage. Unfortunately, getting caught in the double edge dance. Yes, it oh, no tech! Wow, excellent. That splat bomb didn't even make contact. It just exploded with yeah. the timing. 
I felt like Ethel thought it was safe with the fact that, like, okay, the splat bomb is nowhere near me. Mm -hmm. We did not account for the explosion here. Right. Does have a bit of a fuse, as I guess you could call it. Mm -hmm. I, like, kind of stops himself a little bit in the middle of the double edge down because he knows, alright, it's not going to connect. He's got enough shield. That's a better way for Ethel to actually stop rolling it. Like, hold shield and then wait for the response. But that's the thing here that Ethel kind of, like, has it against him, too, is that he's constantly just trying to end the stock as soon as possible when he should, like I said, slow his roll. Certainly. Oh, a bit too early for the Trump there, but once again, he's going for it, and I like the decision here. Oh, the Pura has just been 100% on these tags. Got a bit of to cover himself. Look at Ethel. Well, he did just hold his ground in the face of that dash dancing, and this is, I don't want to say doable, but it's not impossible. <laughs> For sure, and that, oh, he overshot it there. I like it. For another forward, it would have been a great opportunity there just to get him off the stage and set up an edge guard. You got percent on him, 40, right, the ledge. Mm -hmm. Rory, may, Rory may not be able to kill that early, but hey, man, if you got the edge guard, the opportunity starts to slowly present itself, and unfortunately, he's able to mash out. Wow, even at 140%, but gets the up smash immediately after, and that's going to be a 2-1. Yep. Very close, but... Kira eventually with a three-game victory. And that was a lot closer than I think game one might have suggested. Yeah. Sorry, two-game victory. It was a uh, best of three. But game yeah, three, yes. Yeah. I was like, three games. 